Hello friends, today I am here with something different, something to entertain you and uh, more for most of us you know mathematics is a, um, a subject which involves a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence and uh, when we talk of mathematics we think of uh, big formulas involving a lot of calculations and all. But believe it or not mathematics can be fun and there are so many activities, puzzles around in the books in the uh, library you can search a lot of books involving a lot of puzzles through which you can create interest in mathematics among your students if you are a teacher and study yourself if you are a student and develop that interest yourself. Today I am going to demonstrate one or two good tricks through which you can develop this interest in mathematics. The first trick which I am going to tell you it involves uh, development of creative thinking among students. So, when you enter the class, just draw a circle and ask the students whether they can make a 6, the figure 6 out of this using the pen or the chalk only once. They can draw a curved line, they can draw a, draw a straight line, they can use the pen only once. So obviously, say about 99% of the students will raise their hands, they will be eager to draw the 6 because it is very very easy to make a 6 out of a 0. So finally you can call one of the students and the answer you will get is they will simply draw a curved line and complete the 6 like this. Pretty easy right? But what is the fun in this? Now it comes the second trick is to draw a V on the board and now ask the students to make a 6 out of this. Believe it or not, say about 60% of the students will be thinking now, 6 involves curved lines. How can we make a 6 out of a V? I think only say about 10 students out of 50 may or may not get the reply to this. And the reply to this is very very simple. When you think of numeral 6, you keep on thinking about curved lines only. But you fail to see that there can be a Roman 6 as well. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool ma'am. So this 6 is different from that 6. And to arrive at this conclusion, you have to be creative. Be flexible in your thoughts. The trick is not over my dear friends. Now draw a Roman 9 on the board and tell the students use the pen and complete this. Make it a 6 now. You can't rub. You have to just use the pen only once. You can draw a curved line, straight line, any line but only once. Now most of the students will be thinking about numeral 6, Roman 6. So how can we make a 6 out of a Roman 9? The answer to this is again very very simple. Something which will make the students do like this. So now this 9 can be very easily converted into a 6 just by putting an S in front of it which makes S I X as a 6. So teachers this one is for you. Use this kind of methods in the class for developing creative thinking among students. They will love maths. They will start loving maths. They will think of various ways come out with different solutions which even you might not have imagined in the class. Now coming to one more trick. Again involving the use of a single straight line. Just write this equation on the board 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 550. Every student of the class will tell you that this equation is wrong because 5 plus 5 plus 5 is ultimately 15, it is not 550. So now you have to tell the students that using only one line you have to convert this into a real equation in which LHS and RHS are equal. Using just one line, 
no rubbing, nothing. So one of the very common answers which I have got uh, from the students is what the students do is they convert this equality sign into a not equal to sign which is true but you have to convert this into an equality not an inequality in which LHS is not equal to RHS. You have to convert LHS and RHS as equal things just by drawing one line you can do it. Say about 2% of the students have been able to solve this problem whenever I have used this in class over the last say 15 years and you can test this out give students 3-4 minutes to think, let them try, let them do hit and trial in their notebooks, discuss among themselves. This is what you want in a class, right? Engage the students in creative discussions. Ultimately, some student may come up with the answer. If not, then you just give the answer and this answer is as follows. You will be very very amazed to see that 550 will become equal to 550 by using a single line in this sign of plus you have to convert this into a 4 by drawing a 45 degree line like this which makes it 545 plus 5 gives us 550. So teachers, students look for these kind of examples, solve a lot of these problems, you will have your mathematics fear anxiety lowered to a great extent keep enjoying keep learning these kinds of tricks share and subscribe if you like the video